Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, December 31st, 2022. It's uh, New Year's Eve. So first of all, any of you going out tonight, be safe. Uh, let me tell you about the trap line this week. Holy cow. You've seen the last video connected on that red fox and continue to put sets out, but that cold snap we had, there were still places that the ground was froze. So it made digging uh, trap beds a pain in the butt. So really this week, uh, we slowly got the line established for coyotes, then uh, got a warm up where we, I was able to start putting some dog proofs in because those uh, raccoons were back moving again. And plus their breeding season is getting ready to come up. But uh, up until today, mainly possums, which I didn't record and uh, possums and I did have a raccoon uh, dig a set up and I had a few sets that got thrown by by deer but other than that it's been a uh, just a slow week but it was nice er earlier in the week when it was still froze allowed me to drive back to a lot of these places and now with this warm-up it is and then we got an inch and a half of rain yesterday and last night it's just a muddy mess and having having to uh, walk back to all these places I'm slowly getting in shape put it that way I was out of shape but I can tell each day I gotta walk that uh, slowly getting in shape so well with that being said uh, gonna go on the trap line uh, if I have anything I'm gonna turn you on and we'll uh, go from there Good morning, everyone. It's uh, New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2022. As you can see, we're in this little wood line right here, and uh, hopefully it shows up. You can see this trail running through. Goes on up there, comes down, crosses this dry creek bed, and continues up on that way. I've got a dog proof right up there that wasn't messed with. Dog proof right there wasn't messed with. And this is just on the inside of that lane where I caught that fox. You can see the cornfield there, and there's that lane, and then here's a wood line. This is the same trail we caught numerous coons on last year. Nice big ones. Well, I had a dog proof set right up here. And as you can see, we connected on a nice raccoon. It's a uh, late season right now so one thing uh keep in mind is these boars are going to be out wanting to breed so now's the time to if you can find these trails get them set up so this is uh was baited with my uh bait that i made out of the floating cash fit, catfish food and the uh kool-aid packet so the tropical punch Caught a raccoon. I set these the day before, nothing messed with them the night before, so second day check and first raccoon out of one raccoon out of these three sets, so we'll take it. We have just got over to the second property of the day. Placed a couple dog proofs over here yesterday. Just trails everywhere. As a matter of fact, I just put two more up there on two different trails. I had one over here that wasn't messed with, but we get over to this other dog proof. Just got a monster raccoon in it. That is a big raccoon. Same bait, floating cat, floating catfish food with that uh, Kool-Aid packet mixed in. Second raccoon of the day. He's muddy, but he is a big one. I'm going to get him out and uh, reset this. As you can see, that trail just continues on that way. Just a little wood lot. And on over there, if you walk through the woods, is that a, is a cornfield continue out that way opens up into a grassy lane grown-up area 
with another wood lot that has a creek in it and there's just cornfields around it so trails running through here like crazy so hopefully we can pick up a few big raccoon this year so I'll turn you on if we have anything else all right got my morning audience every time I get over here check traps they want to follow me around I know we're trying to take care of the coyotes for them got a couple sets over that draw there and a couple sets over there so we get up there to them I'll turn you back on like I said they just just want to follow me around we have anything today yes no maybe all right we'll find out all right we are over on the third property getting ready to check some coyote sets you can see we're just mainly here in this pasture what it's got a low draw that runs down here in the in the middle just a little drainage when I come over here and set the other day there was still snow on the ground and I noticed that they had been running this draw and they uh, were digging out nice mice nests out from under the banks I don't know if you can see but finally connected on the coyote right there we're gonna get up here and get a closer look got a couple sets over there by those fence posts and I'll show you those sets here in a minute actually that area over there that I got those two sets is where Cody caught five coyotes he caught uh, four right over there and one up by that tree so but that's this nice coyote right here you can see the draw runs right down through here and they run these looking for mice and whatever got one set right there needs a uh, rebaited it looks like Duke one and three quarter offset nice young coyote little one pretty though pretty coyote second one of the year like I said this draw here is just a focal point in this field and you can see how it slopes up there and they just run run these mousing just looking for mice and stuff I'm gonna get this one taken care of then uh, we'll uh, go over there and look at those two sets nice coyote all right just got over my other two sets so you got this fence line crop field there this pasture just over the rise is where we caught that coyote just a minute ago so i put these two sets in here that one wasn't messed with and i put another one in right over here and it wasn't messed with you can see Got a pond right there, there's a fence line running. There's a little draw right there that goes up. Just over that ridge is another one and that's where we connected on that coyote. But they run, uh, these coyotes run these uh, fields mousing. And as a matter of fact, right up there is where Cody caught two fox and a coyote last year. And he caught three coyotes right there and then one just right up there last year this is a with his honey hole of course he stomped me last year on coyotes but so right now I've caught two coyotes one fox and three raccoons so two raccoon today and the one coyote and I still got one more property to check so let me get this one remade and then uh catch anything else but we'll turn you back on 
All right, everyone. Just got home from uh, today's check on uh, New Year's Eve. Not not a bad day. Can't complain compared to what the rest of the week's been. So I'm very very happy. Uh, smaller bore coon right here. Still a nice size one, but this tank right here, this is a huge bore raccoon. Holy cow! Just a muddy mess. This coyote's uh, a female. Real pretty. Does have some burrs in her, so first thing I gotta do once I get her hung up before I start skinning is take the brush to her to get the burrs out. So that's something you always want to do to your hide, your animals before you start skinning is brush them, get any burrs out they may have. One thing about this set that uh, I caught this, this coyote in, I set it Tuesday, so it is set Wednesday, Thursday, Friday until today. So four. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four checks. It went four checks before it connected, had nothing to mess with it. So, patience is a, a key thing when you're trapping these coyotes, just give them time to come back through. Like I said, their breeding season is getting ready to start, so that's why I always uh, set two traps, so hopefully I'll double up. I personally have never had a double on fox or coyotes, have raccoon stuff, but. Cody's caught a double on coyotes. He did that last year. Justin's caught a uh, double on coyotes. And back in high school, my brother, uh, he even doubled up on Red Fox. So, But I'm happy. Great day. Uh, you all be safe tonight. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.